done here when the dust settles and the oh. chaos has finished. Opening kickoff goes right to Gyro. This is the guy Spaceman says got to get going. He did not in the first five seconds as Justin picks his pocket. This will fall towards Garrett G. Shots wide and Taroko can just pop this up as Aqua are looking for boost. He'll get some and he'll call off Gyro to send this away. If you're watching Rogue play Rocket League, the Chaos has never finished stacks. Let's get that out of the way first and foremost. <laughs> Second of all, the keys to victory here for NRG, just control the pace. That's They're one of the best teams, if not the best, in North America at doing it. They control the pace. They can beat anybody. For Rogue, you're going to have to take Squishy out of the equation. No matter what Garrett does or what Justin does, you can go in and prep for that. If you can take out Squishy, you can disrupt this offense, and Gyro has to be one of those key factors. What a pinch that would have been. And nobody else could get up ahead there, of course, with the attack moving downfield. And now Squishy trying to collect. Aqua actually played that up and away. So Gyro will take over, trying to feather what's left of his boost. And the flip reset easily dropped away by Squishy. Here goes Justin falling with style. And Aqua right there to meet him in the corner. Neither team's had really great looks at the opposing net through the first minute. Gotta imagine that's kind of a win for Rogue. They don't want this to be a track meet up and down the field. I don't know that they can keep pace with NRG. Few teams in North America or the world can. Sure, BDS is one of them, as they prove, as Aqua will play this one through. Got around Justin. He'll have a full tank of boost to work with as he goes by Squishy as well. Dropped in front, and Gyro just couldn't quite get there in time. That should be the game plan for Rogue going into the first couple of games in this series. Get Aqua comfortable running point up field and forcing NRG to challenge him to the corner. That gives space for Taroko in midfield. And more importantly, Gyro can start dictating some of the lines of traffic and really push away someone like Justin or force Garrett G to have to fall out of position. You have to get choppy with NRG if you want to beat him. Garrett G trying to play this one from out of his own goal, but now it'll be Gyro all the way across and there'll be no Taroko involved. So Gyro will have to improvise. He's got a full tank of boost, though. Spawned right for him at midfield. This will drop down towards Aqua. Justin coming in from behind, and he still found a way to make himself a factor, joining the play from behind the attack, and still disrupted Rogue. Well, this is what scares me now. Rogue are very keen on pushing three men up at a time. They love stacking the left or right side of the field, and they can triple commit very quickly. NRG will be taking note of that. They might be looking for long clears to get downfield. Already, Justin going to circle back as the third. Now Squishy as the second option. Should be able to challenge this. Aqua with a weird touch, and it leaves it back to Taroko. Demolition on. Taroko leaves Gyro to take the shot, and Garrett G, initial save, going to try to carry this himself, and Taroko brings it right back. One-on-one -on -one with Squishy, and he just could not convert. Gyro tried to get there on the doorstep as well. Demolition's though coming up from Rogue. This has popped out towards Gyro. Taroko had also come up, and Justin just played it around Gyro. Finally, Aqua just puts a bullet through, and Rogue scores first. This is this lazy Susan offense that helped Rogue get through the close qualifiers. First Gyro, then Aqua, Taroko around in case for a rebound. But notice how Taroko doesn't immediately fly downfield on transition. He waits his turn in the corner. He can grab boost to keep NRG stuck on the goal line. And then once you have a clear look at the net, that that's when you pull back from the play and give room for Aqua to put a shot on target. Nicely done by Rogue early on, putting pressure on NRG, where NRG have yet been able to respond. Third by Gyro, but it finds Garrett G. Now Taroko also has Gyro downfield. Rogue pushing up an awful lot for a team with a 1-0 lead with 90 seconds left. Now they kind of reset into a more traditional formation as Taroko plays through. And Garrett G had to put on the brakes. Slowed down his rotations a bit. Now Gyro, good win. Here's Aqua again. And Garrett G popped that back out to Squishy. For Justin now ahead. And a laser goes off of Taroko and in. And NRG catches a huge break outside the last minute. This is almost unsavable. Taroko had to basically meet this on the challenge and fall back to put it off the crossbar. He doesn't have enough boost to be able to get on top of the ball. You can't blame Taroko in that situation. You can only give credit to NRG. A one goal lead will not do it for Rogue in this situation. And the general strikes back very quickly. All that work from Rogue erased by that dart from Justin. And now Aqua. Full tank of boost, but no gyro. It's Taroko thinking about coming up. He will. 
got to create on his own, however. And Garrett G just softly plays it by and got the second stop on Gyro. Tell you what, when oh. he's on, you are better. Squishy now. At his possession ended quickly as Justin pops it out to the corner. 28 seconds to go. Taroko with a whiff. But Gyro's right there, at least kind of salvaged the play. And here comes Squishy, looking to break Rogue's hearts yet again. But NRG are denied this time. Nobody up in the air, though. Taroko's got to get up for this and still came up empty. Demo on Aqua, passed to Justin, and it goes wide. The I final was... five seconds will tick away here. Rogue are going to feel like they wow. really got let off the hook. They got a lucky, lucky break that this game didn't end at the seven second mark. I don't know if Gyro barely got in front of that ball. I think Justin tried to pinch it and it just barely went wide. Squishy trying to find Garrett in transition, the one, two. But here comes Gyro right upfield to Aqua on a breakaway. Aqua misses and Squishy will be there for the dive. Rogue had opportunities. That's game called match right there, and they just can't put it away. Not a lot to work with for Garrett G, but he did his job. He delayed long enough. Now this goes over. Justin, he's got to get on his horse and get back with Gyro bearing down on him. That's an awkward ball, and Gyro could not put that by Squishy. Now Justin, going to make good on this. Got the clear out to the center line, but Aqua's right there to meet it. Gyro, oh, he wanted that midfield boost, and he just couldn't quite get it. It will be Gyros to take this time, though, as he gets back, and he can turn now with Taroko moving downfield. It'll be an option, but the ball never gets there. Justin collects an NRG. Weather the early storm in <laughs> overtime from Rogue, as Gyros got to be sure-handed here, and he'll just play the long possession game. Touches have been a lot cleaner in this series for Rogue. It's something this team has struggled with ever since the roster change. They have not had the best looks on the ball, nor have they, have they had the cleanest passes in field. So they've been a little bit selfless, trying to find one another, getting each other involved. But oftentimes, those balls go awry, and you end up giving possession away. NRG playing very nicely at midfield, just letting Rogue do what they want on the sidewall, but not pressing the issue, because Rogue can't really advance up until this point. Aqua, absolutely the X factor here. He does not have nearly the level of experience playing against NRG uh -oh. that the others have. And he's just got a rude introduction to exactly what NRG is all about. Back and forth, Justin, back to Squishy, no contest. The speed of that pass caught Aqua completely off guard. He was trying to circle around and get in position, but as soon as he turned his car, the ball was already behind him. There's literally nowhere you can go. And what did we say in the start of this series? It's going to be Squishy who will dismantle Rogue if he gets in position. Poor Aqua just completely lost in the sauce. Squishy gets it done. NRG looks scared for a moment, Stacks, but they handle their business. And really, that's set up by Garrett. 504 on the board. Three shots, three saves, helping Squishy and Justin find those two goals. When you look at this NRG squad, you think, all right, wow, who's the weak no link? Goal. Okay, there is none. So what what has to be the plan? Somebody has to pop off. Yeah. And Aqua started to. Aqua showed signs for Rogue. Just didn't quite come to fruition for Rogue, at least in game one. They could not hang on to that lead. And now we go into game two and we talk about Rogue as a momentum-based team. That L right there that they just took does not bode well for them with that in mind. Well, I, I think there's some good things despite that. Yeah, you can say like momentum based team. Yes, obviously you don't want to start off a tiebreaker with a loss in game one, but you did have Gyro actually getting a lot of touches on the ball. He had about 60 there. And so he's not, it's not like he's out here just yeah. whiffing and not contributing. Is, is, he did have eight shots. I mean, he, he had eight shots as well. Like the guy's getting involved there and it was just down to energy plays good defense. And to be fair, the only reason that went over time is because Taroko ongled that. Like mm -hmm. I thought Spaceman was a genius. Like Squishy dishes one to Justin and it's top, like top of the net. And it's like, oh, you got to save it. And then you watch the replay back again. And it's like, oh my gosh, it bounced down and out. And he was just in the wrong place at the yep. wrong time. And so, like, that could have very easily been Rogue's game. And I think they actually yeah. played a pretty solid one, despite the result not panning out the way that they wanted it to. So, Spaceman, yeah. you are the Rogue expert. That doesn't what is, exist. What That's is, not a thing. There is that, no expert It absolutely team. is. It so, does not, what is okay. their mental? To just kind of tap into their psyche here. Yeah. What's their mental going into game two? 
Well, continue to go for those clean touches to trust one another, but also when rogues stop thinking so much through their game plan and they just kind of play and intuitively find one another, they play very well. They're able to compete. Win is a different conversation, but they can compete. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for rogues to look comfortable. Oftentimes they are a little too selfless. They think too much through the play and they end up kind of shooting themselves in the foot. It's something that Rogue has done often. They've cleaned it up in the close quals, but it's still a problem. And going into this, that game one loss hurts, but it could be worse. You have to clean it up in this one, continue to put pressure on NRG, and uh, hope for the best on your offensive side. You just used one of my favorite words there, compete. You know, when I'm when I'm looking at, you know, who I value as mm. a, a top player in any region, you know, I'm not concerned over you know, how well they can hit the ball or even how often they win. I wonder how they compete. Do they kind of drop their shoulders like, oh, Ooh. woe is me. Are they making excuses? You want to know somebody who doesn't make excuses? Ooh. This guy, God's gift to Rocket League Esports himself, Garrett G, coming through again. If I could so respectfully pull an oh mama from Garrett G on that one. <laughs> My goodness. That's, that's so mama worthy. <laughs> It's, it feels so weird to not be able to look to Achieves for updates on other matches. This is the only show in town we here. We can still jump to him be like, hey, Achieves, what are you yeah, seeing? Because, right. you hey, know, Achieves, oh, Rogue has the ball. You oh, want to speak mama. and maybe bring a goal about? Not on this net as Taroko pops one away. NRG starting to pick up the cadence quite a bit now. Oh, Justin. I thought Justin was just going to drive by and let that roll its way in. Taroko's had to make a couple of diving saves, and he has no boost at midfield. I'm wondering where the rest of Rogue are at this moment in time. One of the things that also worries me for this team, they do it on both sides of the field. They'd love to stack one side, whether it's, you know, the back corner, the right side of the field. Here they come crossing in again. I think Jarrah was looking for the pinch, but no one else was home to help work that out. Rogue a little bit hesitant right now and very much struggling to have some cohesion as they move upfield. Well, Aqua at least came out the better of the two on that one challenge, but it found Garrett G. And more offense for NRG as Justin nearly converted from there, which seemed impossible until he came real close. Squishy loses out to Taroko. Gyro underneath him. Aqua came up to midfield, and now he's got to turn back and contend with Justin drifting downfield. Now it'll be Gyro stopped by Squishy. Boy, just every time. Ooh. Oh, there's some interference on Ooh. the goal line, and Aqua scores. This had to be Gyro running yeah. downfield. It was. This is what we call Gyro. He did this in the close calls. And when he starts getting that, that Giga Chad mentality, he starts getting physical, the Gyro comes out. And that's what he did on the goal line. Just absolutely annihilates Garrett. I think Gyro's here to stay. This, this kid's something special. Gyro or Gyro you trying know, to play Gyro. hero. Is This is... Popped in front for Aqua to clear away. He's not going to have a whole lot of help as Squishy's right there. Garrett G picks that midfield boost. And can't do a whole lot with it there, but it does set up a shot for Justin. Boomed away. Just challenge after challenge. Trying to get incremental advantages downfield. Aqua to the ceiling. Picked his spot. And both Justin and Squishy are there. More space given to Rogue now on the offensive side. Justin, flying off his own backboard, had to get that one out to midfield. And with that, you're starting to see more pressure and more tension drawn to the first player out from NRG who has possession. Look how quickly Taroko is to follow up, and Gyro eventually hits Aqua out of the way. So some awkward communication there on the back end. But I like the aggression from Rogue. It just has to stay consistent downfield. NRG with any time on the clock is going to be a threat. One very interested party in the outcome of this series, NXT Esports. They get the loser of this series as the, they would be the second team in Group A in the lower bracket round one. That match comes up right after this as Gyro will sky one downfield. There's all these teams in that lower bracket waiting for this tiebreaker to play out. Garrett G around Taroko, final minute. Winning time now for both NRG and Rogue. Ooh, what a touch. Aqua, what a touch to get this downfield. And even Justin might have kind of raised his eyebrows a little bit like, all right, I guess I got to get back. Here's Gyro. Stopped again by Squishy. And boy, Squishy's presence in the back corner has just been colossal. He's got Aqua shaking just nervously. He, he, he's clearly in Rogue's head right now. 
But Rogue, with all this happening, they need a goal. I mean, we've sat tied up for quite some time. And while the plays have developed and they've gotten a little bit more creative through the air, thanks to people like Taroko, people like Aqua. Oh, God, what a burn from NRG. Yeah. That's a double commit. Oh, yeah. you, you see this on the side wall. Gyro and Aqua synchronized climbing up the wall. Not an Olympic sport. Not a good practice in Rocket League either. 2-1 NRG. That's the thing. It's all that from Rogue for what? All of that and you can't find that next step. You're able to compete, but you can't put the second one on the board. NRG will just let you do what you want until they decide to take the ball away. Aqua from the sidewall. Does he have heroic left in him? Aqua can't get the touch, sends it to the corner. A triple commit from Rogue past midfield. With four seconds to go, NRG just need to kill this ball and they'll take the series lead two nothing. They do it. Uh, that seemed to just go in slow motion for Justin on his way to the ground too. Just like, yep. Let me just drop this down to the ground. Another 2-1 dub, this time in regulation. All, again, you, you look at just that one mistake. You, you don't have to play. We, we always say this. You don't have to play perfect to beat anybody, whether it's BDS or Endpoint or NRG, G2. You don't have to play perfect, but there are just some mistakes that you sure. have to be inexcusable. You cannot expect to win if you make this one mistake. I know it sounds like a clickbait headline, but it is <laughs> that one mistake going up the wall for no good reason. I, I actually think it might have been Gyro kind of cut off Aqua on that play. I'd have to go look at it again, but just inexplicable between those two. The communication has to be better. Otherwise, well, you're looking at just another loser's bracket team. Stacks. Yes. That's a really good point. Thank you. Uh, okay. Space man. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought again that this one very likely overtime. To be honest, it, it's sure. like you said, it's that, that to me like game two is a fluke, right? It's just like what, what are the odds that they happen to just get in each other's way and they have to take this weird route to make sure they don't collide and, and sure. then they happen to be late on the way back and it's just like okay, now that's two games where Rogue's kind of like mm. yeah, okay, and now you kind of hate to see it, right? Because it's yeah. like all right, because it's best of five, you don't have any more wiggle room and. I don't care how good you are winning three straight against a team like NRG. That's it's not an easy question. No, not at all. And it's one of the hardest things that anyone Ouch. can be asked to do. And going into this series, yes, Squishy was a talking point, but Rogue not only had to compete. We all, what do we also talk about? They just have to make big plays. They have to make things happen. They have been unable so far in this series to make that next step, to make that next play, to really put them in the driver's seat, no pun intended. And uh, when you give up quick goals to Squishy like that off the opening kickoff, now your road's even harder because you have to do more than what you've done already and do it even better. So it's going to be a tough game three. They can absolutely do it but they're going to have to slow NRG down and start to dictate some of this series. Spaceman coming off as clairvoyant from the start of this series, identifying Squishy as, you know, the, the Grim Reaper for Rogue. Yeah, he has led NRG big time here and been a thorn in Rogue's side. Squishy going to carry this one away. Got away from Aqua, still running downfield. It's only Garrett G and Justin back, but only Gyro forward. And Gyro might turn on this, won't have a chance. Squishy up ahead towards Justin. And this ball just skips through, there's no way. Boy, if that ball went in, you could probably just about call the series and say Rogan mailed it in. This one will, oh, Justin, man. right between the eyes. Taroko was building a house up there. That man did not leave the backboard for three minutes and still can't make the read on Justin. And that's the dangerous part of NRG. They, they start to isolate and lock down where players are on the defensive end. And they set up this nice quick rotation through the offensive third to get someone in position to meet the pass. They put it on target where not even a good, a great defender like Taroko could meet it. That's, that's what NRG do so well, man. They're able to break you down in real time and uh, create a play that could put points on the board. Justin, no way. No one's contested. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh God. Just a one oh man God. shot. Oh no. That's up Garrett G to just keep dribbling. They're literally dribbling circles around Rogue right now. <laughs> I'm just having. Like, I, I hate to laugh at a team because you know what? I mean, this has to be miserable to play against. That looks funny. 
I've just I've just felt that cloud of, of Rogue HQ fall over my eyes now. <laughs> it's just this steady stream of rain. Still chances. Plenty of time in this game. But welcome to the natural esports wonder of sometimes teams are just better. NRG being that case. And they are quite literally driving circles around Rogue. I mean, it is uh, it is not been close in this one. Yeah, that you could see the the wind kind of come out of the sails of Rogue, perhaps right after the first goal here in Game Three. I mean, it may have happened after the the game winner of Game Two, after that double commit between Aqua and Gyro. But you can just tell they're they're not playing with the same kind of pop, trying to run downfield. It's a lot of hesitation, a little bit of. Uh, do I have to go for this? All right, sure, I got it. Yeah, yeah, I'll call it. You know, gee, imagine calling the ball as Taroko got in Garrett G's way. Mm. Justin now to the corner. Gyro picks his pocket. Taroko waiting back. He'll be called into action as Justin will have a look all the way across for Garrett G, and he just missed high and wide. Oh, wait a minute. That's a great touch. It won't be in, oh, but it Aqua is, and the demolition slowed down. Up. Garrett, and Aqua scores. That's the life. They needed something to get injected into this team. I mean, Aqua, nice job stabilizing on the sidewall and immediately flying off for the challenge to secure this one. The demo just helps open up the entire back line. But again, Rogue are a very emotional, mentally driven team. When they get in a good mindset, when they start feeling each other out, they're able to bounce back in games like this. They just need help. They need help to get to that point. It's got to come from someone like Gyro or someone like Taroko. Aqua doing all he can. Gyro now with a chance. The pass, the shot. Ooh. Taroko off target from close range. Something that doesn't happen too often. Aqua with a fake. Everyone's pushed up for row. I mean, might as well be. This will waterfall down. Gyro right there. And Squishy stopped him again. Every time Gyro has tried to get anything going, Squishy has been right in his face to stop him. Uh, Without fail. So oh, Squishy got a piece of Taroko there and disrupted that play. And it goes back downfield, technically on target, so Aqua has to make the save. And now this goes off of Gyro, makes it real awkward for Rogue, but he does get downfield. But there is Garrett G. So Gyro nudges him away from the play. And a decent ball intended for either Gyro or Taroko. Neither could get to it. And now outside of a minute to go. Time running out for Rogue and their hopes to get into the upper bracket of tomorrow's playoff stage. Else they'll have to play again right after this against NXT. Aqua, last minute. Time for a little bit of hero ball, perhaps. Nothing there as Squishy again. Way downfield and more frustration for Rogue against yeah. Squishy and NRG. When the pressure's on, Rogue start to break down. They're missing their touches. They're not getting the cleanest extensions. They start triple committing. They bunch up on each other. Aqua still in the back line, but I mean, NRG are just passing it to each other. This lateral gameplay kills time. And Taroko, see you later. We'll see you on respawn. I, I don't know what you do in this situation. Maybe Aqua for a chance, but Rogue needed to score 30 seconds ago. And right now, NRG are just running away with this one. And this series is pretty much done. Got to score now to give themselves at least a prayer on the kickoff. Taroko out to Aqua, and he does with six to go. I refuse to believe in miracles. <laughs> I ref I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Believe in Aqua. Well, he, he just refuses to let this team go down. He will He's drag them across the finish line if he oh must. God. Taroko beaten out by Justin. And unless Aqua has the superhuman speed, it will not get there. And NRG Ooh. takes down Rogue. And again, all one goal games, just like our previous series with Envy and G2. And game three made to look probably a little closer than it was. You know, that's a that's a tough series for Rogue to lose, not because of the matchup, but because the way the matchup went. If we look at how all these games came down to one single goal, and yes, there were moments where Rogue made the game more difficult than it needed to be, it seemed that the problems that Rogue has offensively and defensively continue to be a factor where if you want to beat better teams like NRG, if you want to compete in these groups, these are the types of matchups early on you have to win. And the problems were so prominent in this series where 
it seems that Rogue still have a long way to go to figure out exactly how to play polished RLCS caliber Rocket League. And unfortunately, they just couldn't do it in a series that did matter quite a bit, even though there were moments of greatness, it was outweighed heavily by a lot of these just inconsistent mistakes. But one way or the other, Rogue do find themselves into the playoff bracket. Unfortunately, not in the position they would have liked. They'll be in the lower bracket, courtesy, as you say here, of the general NRG. Nice, uh, like you said, a uh, solid 3-0. Game one and two, tough to lose for Rogue, but uh, NRG, probably the game three that we all probably yep. would have expected. And like you said, stacks maybe a little bit closer than we were thinking, but eh. What can well, you, you do? know? Hey, th this uh, this NRG squad they they don't go out there and just bully people around yeah. every single game. Like they will play close with a lot of teams that you might think on paper they should just annihilate, but in the end they still just straight up win. And <laughs> they're in the that, upper bracket. Water's wet. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They're they're a team that I mean they are just. Consistency matters in North America, and so few teams actually have it. Like, sure, a team might pop off and just play out of their minds for a weekend. Do I, it I for have, two years. I have compared North American Rocket League to F1 a couple of times. <laughs> it's just like, all right, there's a couple of teams that you know are going to be one, two, three. Everyone else fights for four through everything else. <laughs> and it's just uh, NRG is consistently the one up there that uh, really doesn't like to relinquish its hold on number one too yeah. often. But uh, one way or the other, they make it through. They're in the upper bracket, number one in the group, group stage again for their side. Uh, Rogue, curious to see what they can do. And as we mentioned, no more tiebreakers. Everything happened to work out just perfectly enough. Uh, so I believe that concludes tiebreakers, and uh, that means there's, what, just one lower bracket match today. There is. If, if memory serves correct, and mm -hmm. let me find out where I it's put that. It's a spicy that. one. Hang on. I got to find out where I put it. Uh, uh. Oxygen versus version one will be our lower bracket match. I, you know, that's actually a good one. I've wanted to that see is. Oxygen today. They've played some really close matches today, and while we're talking about it, let's go ahead and pull up the bracket so mm. we can get a taste of what is in store over Saturday and Sunday. Well, we'll be starting right there at the bottom, Oxygen versus version one. Uh, wow. Yeah, against his old team. So that's going game five. <laughs> it has to. It has to. It literally right? has yeah. to. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, hey Spaceman. Yeah. Do you remember back yeah. in the fall split when now previously NXT Esports was Team DVS? They wanted to right. get a show match with DVS, who I casted for one of the qualifiers, and yes. Rogue, who at the time you were casting. And I believe somebody ducked that match. I can't remember quite who it was. I, I think it was your boys, actually. How do you? How is this so all I, me? I think it was, how did it was we your turn boys. This segment into so blaming me for what now, Rogue did. There's no running away. Rogue must face its fears and take on NXT. Everything sports. is our fear. Running from white <laughs> stacks, we can't win a game. Uh, stacks only says that because he's big on NXT. That's the only reason. It's okay, Space Man. They'll, 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 we shall see what the universe has in store for them. Uh, tomorrow, but uh, before we get there, let's go ahead. It's true. Uh, we'll we'll throw the break real quick, and when, when we come back, we will have version one versus oxygen, and we'll see if version one pulls another game five out of the hat. Stay with us.